idea. We make a cable access show, right? <laughs> And it's called The Word, right? And it starts Mums. It's called Mums The Word. Oh, see. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Why don't, instead of you, Todd, why don't we just have Mums and just call it Mums The Word? Wow. Why don't we just, like, uh, scare everybody away with, like, why, why are you so, like, Puns rule the world. <laughs> exactly. Puns rule the world. <laughs> Black Hat, why should I interview you? Well, I'll give you two reasons why. This first number is called Shit Hat. On three. One, two, one, two, three. Should harm taking the chance on you. Now I'm sad and I'm feeling blue. The world is me, it's so cool. Should harm taking the chance on you. On you. Should harm taking a chance on you. I need love, love that's pure. To fight the suffering, yes, I need a cure. Hey, should harm taking a chance on you. Should harm taking a chance on you. On you. Should have taken the chance on you. I should have, but I didn't. Damn. Well, uh, please don't go. May I do another number for you guys? Yeah, yeah, before you do, before you do, man. That was cool, man. That was entrancing, man. You, you like, you engaged uh, the camera, man. Yeah, Looks I'm like pretty, you were yeah. uh, yeah. That's what I'm into. Well, you know what's cool, though? When, like, uh, like when, when a performer, like, gets into that rhythm, you know? Like, you immediately got into that rhythm, you know, like, how long did it take you to, like, or is that natural? It's natural. It's natural. Right. Yeah. Just the song itself, though, like, um, I wrote that. Well, where did it come from? What's that, what's it called? Um, I wrote that song in 2013, man, mm -hmm. and it's actually about a tree that I visit every day, a willow tree. Wow. Yeah, I'm very spiritual, and I have a really deep relationship with the tree, so. Willow, I love you. Oh, you is that the tree's it's name? It's a fucking tree, really. Yo, where's the tree at? Like, I'm not gonna reveal it. <laughs> what? But it's, yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah. How do you feel the spiritual connection with the tree? Like, uh, I go there and I just receive a lot of like uh, advice and shit. And I got my rhymes from out of the trees. At first, I popped out of my mom's and did a freeze on the conveyor belt where the real is felt. Fear, pain. Sadness, my first emotion, scoping the goals, bread to generate, vomit of turn up economic spit. I impose a writ, enforcing the course and climate that define the consciousness. Somebody say no. Somebody say no. Like having like a relative with schizophrenia, yeah. I think it definitely like makes you grow up, you know, faster than other people, like other kids. Uh, Where because yeah. like shit's real. Yeah. You know, and then you're like, fuck, you know. Yeah. And I think that, like, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that pretty well describes it. <laughs> yeah, and then you, you just get, it's it almost like you get into survivor's mode, where, not just survivor's mode, but, like, coping mode. Yeah. Which is survivor's yeah. mode, where you're just like, all right, why is this happening? You know, how do I control this? And, like, I think being a writer, too, is about almost, like, controlling your environment, it controlling is. your it life, is. controlling your narrative yes. and your story. Exactly. It is. Yeah. It totally is. And and that's the thing is everybody comes laden with their own story. Um, and it's so hard to break out of the way that you see yourself. And like only through a ton of talk therapy have I not turned into a little mini replica of my easy parents. Mm -hmm. um, because it's, I don't know, I mean, Tracy Morgan had uh, some schizophrenic relatives, and he sort of credits. Did you read his book? No, no. Um, I, I read I read comedians' books every once in a while, mm -hmm. uh, and um, that sort of helped him go to weird places and make weird associations mm -hmm. because his his relative, I guess, was hilarious when he was <laughs> in his disease, you know. Um, <laughs> but that because schizophrenic people engage in magical thinking. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to tear out the threads of like, this part is true, this part is not true. Mm. Um, it might expand your creativity a little bit. I don't know. 
Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like, with me, I was, like, more, like... Because, like, the, the relative was, like, shadiest... He, he was, like, fucked up. Yeah, he was, like, yeah. you know, and I was yeah. just, like, done. Yeah. Done. Yeah, you know, like, you know, I was, like, you know... Yeah. I mean, you know... They passed on, too, and, like, it's, it's pretty sad. Isn't it great? No, it's not. It's, it's fantastic. <laughs> it, it is... I, I don't... I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right, though. I mean, like, there is, like, a relief, but also there's, like, the whole, like... You know, now what? You know, not not just that, just like oh, you're for yourself, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like oh, this damage and all that. Yeah, when did when did he pass? I don't know, like uh, I don't know, like two thousand six or something. Oh, wow. Seven, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, young person. He was a relatively young person. Then. No, you know, I think he was like in his fifties or something. Oh. You know, I think you know, in a weird way too. I think I'm still like. Coping with that, like how to present that. Yeah. I mean, one day I yeah. want to like sort of engage that, yeah. you know, just yeah. to. But I guess in my own way, I'm still like holding back with that for some reason. You know, well, I mean, just you know, it, it, shit was real, man. Like I started yeah. doing stand up yeah. at seventeen. Yeah. Cause, like, like before that, I was like, yeah, I'm going to kill myself. Like yeah. at sixteen, I was like, I was like suicidal. I had yeah. like, <laughs> I was like, what? What's the point of life? Like suffering's like it's you know. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, the funny thing was, like, uh, right before I did stand-up, uh, I was actually, like, um, institutionalized mm -hmm. when, at 16, because, mm -hmm. like, it, it was just a lot of bullshit going on, yeah. and, like, you know... It's a my, safe place. Yeah, yeah my grandma. Yeah. place to go. Yeah, and, like, you know, my, you know, my, grand, like, my grandmother, she didn't know what to, like, yeah. how to do it. She's, like, from, like, an immigrant, from you know, from right. an old country, you know? And it was just, like, being there, I was just, like, that was, like, what the fuck? Like, what's the point? You yeah. know? Yeah. Why am I? Why am I here with these crazy people? When you know? He's and he's, crazy he, one. Yeah, and he's been had like tons of stuff, like yeah. in mental, you know. Right, right. And I was like, wait, why? You're like, I'm not that, you know. But, but I just, but you know, what led me to do? Like, the funny part was like, um, I was with the uh, the um, the guy, you know, like the, the there's like there's always that. Uh, we call that like the guy who's there, who's like uh, not an orderly, but he's like the yeah the ground, yeah, you know, yeah, right. like he's he's like the security ground orderly yes, guy yeah. to hang out with you yeah. and stuff. Walk, you know, like the manager of the day, you yes, know, or the night, yeah. you know. So like I, he was like this oldish black dude and um, Caribbean light skin, mm -hmm. kind of looked like Bill Cosby's dad in the Bill Cosby Show mm -hmm. or a stepdad or whatever, and like. Uh, I, was, he, I played chess with him, right? Mm -hmm. So I did this move in chess where I did like, um, I did the, I king, I did like the king thing, mm -hmm. you know, when you, you could like, you could do the king thing, right? Yeah. And then he was just like, you can't do that. That's not. That's against the rules. And I'm like, no, it's not. That that's in the rules. That, that, yeah, and then he chess. goes, oh yeah, who's in here and who's out there? Uh, I'm the one out there, and I'm like, you're using that to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, that's hilarious, you know, like, <laughs> so I think that part of it, like, let me be, I'm like, this is absurd, like, you're like, and you're being petty, you know? That is the only thing, that, that is the only thing that saves it, is the absurdity. Yeah. Is, is, is that, he, is that it, it just, it's, it stops seeming real, because it's just so incredibly the opposite of what should be happening. Um, I mean, I, like, I, I'm still dealing with my mom's death, which is in 2012 too, but... Uh, I think it's really important. I do a lot of speaking with at-risk youth because I was an at-risk youth. Mm -hmm. And uh, I tell them, like, my life got better when my mom died. Mm -hmm. um, it, it got better. I was so worried about her. I was so upset. It was, she, was, she was going downhill. She, she's not suffering anymore. I'm not suffering anymore. How it's old fantastic. was she when she passed away? 64. Why did she pass away? A massive coronary from being obese oh. and you know basically um, immobile. Oh. Um, yeah, and also like living in filth and uh, did you, did, being bankrupt. Did, and did you grow up here? Where yeah, you yeah. I grew up in the. I, I went to high school over there. Wow. Yeah, um, you did too, right? You, I grew up in Brooklyn. Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, the city man, not good for kids. <laughs> yes, oh, and no. Yeah, 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 yeah Because yeah. we didn't need a car in order to take care of ourselves. Yeah, but we, you, we were still able to to go places and do things even without a car. I mean, because you must have had a lot of responsibility as a child that was like adult responsibility in terms of taking care of yourself. Yeah, well, I guess so, but I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, 
I mean, I, I think there's also blind spots as a kid where you just like, where like fucked up shit happens. Yeah. And you're just like, eh, whatever, Wednesday, you know? Right. Like, yeah. like I've had times where yeah. like, like a, one, one New Year's Eve night, like so, um, he needed money to mm -hmm. score some. Yeah. And like, so, and my grandfather was like, you know, it was another like a case, you know? Yeah. And he was just like, he was like, yo, can I just get some money to borrow? I'll pay you back. And then, like, my grandfather's like, I don't have any money. I don't have any money. You know? And then they started cursing each other out. And then he took a machete and I went, like, to my grandfather. And my grandfather's like, go ahead, kill me. I don't care. And it was just like, oh, what a great way to bring in the new year, you yeah. know? And I was like, I don't know, like, 11 or 12 or something, you know? Pain, sadness, my first emotion, scoping the goals, bread to generate, vomit of a turn up economic spit. I impose a writ, enforcing the course and climate that define the consciousness. Somebody say no. Somebody say oh. Somebody scream. You don't stop or keep on until the break of dawn. They say YOLO, YOLO, but you only live once, even if you say it twice. But maybe to choke away memories across. Do you drink? No. No, but see, that's what I'm saying. It's like easy to like, you know. It, it... It's mainly because of my voice. You know? Oh, yeah, because singing, whole... yeah, yeah. And acting as well. I do right. act. I oh, actually... he's an actor, yeah. Yes. Acting is my first love, but I do love music as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, like, in acting wise, like, what are you looking to do in acting? Like, um, do you look. show you. Okay. Oh, you want to do a piece? Yes. Okay, all right, yeah. This is a performance act entitled Kill a Face on three. One, two, one, two, three. Hello, little boys and girls. <laughs> Shall we play a game? Yes, we may. Great. Name of the game is called How to Stay Alive. Rules are simple. Don't die. Say your prayers. Thank you. That was awesome, man. Yeah, awesome. Was that like a, like a, like two characters or one character? Two characters, exactly. I grew up in the '80s and I'm very big on horror. Mm -hmm. So you know, from Stephen King, Wes Craven, all those fucking dudes. Like Poltergeist is one of my favorite movies, mm -hmm. and I believe I was possessed as a child. Oh, that, really? That really got to me. They say YOLO, YOLO, but you only live once, even if you say it twice. But maybe to choke away memories across lifetimes. So there's a TV show about that. Somebody say he saw heaven. Somebody see ghosts, hear ancestors. Somebody argue with the air. I only know facts, like I don't eat cats with rhymes. Letters that fall from the weather structure. So, uh, what's great about Janice, Janice, uh, you, you don't do stand up anymore, do you? Or, no, no, I do not. But you're, you're funny, you're thank hilarious. You. you know, like, I remember even like. That, like even all the guy comics, you know, like stand up could be a very like uh like a masculine Macho, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. jokes, right? But yeah, but you always got like respect of like, you know, like our type of people, like, you know, the yes. cool guys, the kids that like like Burt Basale is a good friend of ours. Yes. They always yeah. I think you can get a crush on you, though, I you know, to say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, people have crushes on you. You're like cool. But That's then, great. What did I do about yeah. it? Nothing. Yeah. I well, didn't you... cash in on it when I had the chance. <laughs> well, well, you're well, you're well, you're a lesbian, right? Or um, yeah. I am. I am married. I'm okay. a straight married woman. But yes, oh. I'm also a lesbian. Oh, cool. I just like to cover all of the <laughs> exactly. wow, all wow. of the bases. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. So, but um, you, yeah. So you have like a great like extensive like uh, background in performance art yeah. and like yeah. Yeah, you're also a poet. You're a poet. I, I was I was a poet. I've pretty much done everything that I could mm -hmm. to be on stage, talking, getting my message across. Mm -hmm. um, but then, like when I started, uh, really concentrating more on writing than performing because you know. You, you can kind of only do one at a time. Yeah, like, yeah. You're running to a spot after this. Yeah. You have to be out there five nights a week. Yeah, yeah. And if you're writing, you got to be home writing five nights a week. Yeah. So when I started writing, I just sort of, um, you know, I had to let that go, which was sad because I feel like, like the high from doing a good set mm. is better than any high I have ever had. And I've done a lot of drugs. Like, <laughs> right. and, and, but also, 
like when you when you just die on stage, it's the worst. Oh, yeah. It is the worst. Such a come down. Worst feeling. Right. Um, like I couldn't even uh, like when I like if I bombed, like I, I couldn't even sleep or like I just like yeah. go like in a train like with a bad attitude and people would just look at me like. What'd you do? Did you kill somebody? Right. What's yeah. wrong with you? Yes, I did. Me! Exactly. I killed me! Yeah, yeah. Um, I did such a bad set at, uh, you know, Ray Field. Oh, yeah, Ray Field. Okay. He'll probably be watching this, too. Excellent. Hi, Ray. Ray. You, you killed my comedy career. Oh. No, no. Um, oh. But I, I, I did a show that was, it was just so bad, and I was like, I think this is the last one of these I'm going to do. Yeah. See, that's the thing, too, though, I think a little, a lot of, like, well, I'm a writer, too, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I think with writing, it's like, uh, when you're more focused on that, like, you're definitely more sensitive and more attuned to, like, you know, feelings and stuff, because, yes. you know, like, it, it becomes a big thing. Yeah. Like, like, let's be honest, like, who gives a shit if you bomb, you know? Right. Like, right. who gives it's a shit? It's over. It's, 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 yeah. But when yeah. you're writerly mind, it's become a big, like, oh, you know, de gravitas, what does this right. mean? Right. Like, yeah. the big picture. Yes. And, am I faulty? Yes. Is it, yeah, it's, yeah. I still have that, too, but, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it, 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 it's always there. It's always there. It's like, it's like nothing stays in the past if it's, if it's something dumb I did. It's always, I mean, and I'll be walking down the street and I'll think of like some time when I said good morning or something like that. And I'm like, mm, you know, <laughs> I cringe and, yeah. and, and sometimes I mutter something like, like the correct thing that I meant to say. I'll sort of like mutter it and I'm like this cringing, muttering woman walking down the street. Are you um, obsessed with like editing? Because it sounds like you might be obsessed with, like, because, like, always saying, like, the right thing or, like, you know, yeah, not messing it yeah. up. So I can tell, like, you know, like, what, like I've written, like, pro, like, I, like I, I do shorts, like, comedic yeah. shorts and stuff. And I'm actually working on, a, like, a sitcom type of thing, you know, which is interesting. And I'm always, like, re-editing, re uh, rewriting, writing. Yes. Well, yeah. the weird thing to me about stand-up, for yeah. me, though, like, I like doing stand-up as almost like, like an oral thing where it's, like, mm -hmm. I don't really, like... I used to write jokes and then like the whole thing and yeah yeah or rants whatever, but like now I'm like more like all right here's an idea mm -hmm. this is where I'm gonna go let me just like play with it on stage to make it like sort of like more storytelling you know but like not just yeah. storytelling but like like I'm telling jokes but it's not just you know hey set, blah, blah, set, blah, blah, punch, blah. Set, yeah set, yeah because yeah. I get bored and like I feel like if I'm bored and why would I why would anybody yeah. else yeah yeah there's uh, not enough money to justify like. <laughs> being a hack, you know? No, I not mean, by yeah. a long shot. And, and the thing is that it's like, even the people who um, really make it, you know, uh, as, as stand-up comics, they live on the road, mm -hmm. which is like an incredibly hard lifestyle and really kind of like lonely mm -hmm. and um, just and that's just alienating. That that even that culture is disappearing because there's so many comics out there now. Like yeah, yeah. So it's almost like you can't even do that anymore. Right. Why? Why? Why yeah. would they need anybody to tour? Yeah. yeah. Why? Why yeah. would I need like a road hack if I could have a road hack at like my neighborhood? Right. And my neighborhood. Less. My neighborhood road hack. <laughs> exactly. You don't have to pay your Amtrak. <laughs> There, there's probably a guy named that. My neighborhood road hack. My neighborhood road hack. Or a blog or like right. a Tumblr. Yeah, .com, yeah. Tumblr, .com. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I still have like romantic issues about that, like you know, traveling and like mm -hmm. performing. Like even when you're a writer, you do like a lot of like. Um, have you been doing like book tours and stuff? Or the book tour thing kind of died in the um, early aughts. Mm -hmm. Like unless you are a superstar, a superstar. Like, yeah. People because. It, it doesn't really add that much to the enjoy. I don't know. I don't know why. Um, they, but, oh, the internet, that's why. It's yeah. because it's like, oh, I don't have to hit the bricks and be out there hand selling copies of my book one yeah. at a time. I'll just be here and y'all can order as many as you want online. So, like, that's, that's, so I, I have gone places, I have been flown a few places to, to read or to speak or whatever, and that's great, and I love it, and I, um, and it makes me feel cool, but I also feel, like, homesick, like, very, very homesick whenever I travel for work. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Just, like, super, super, one time I took a cab back from, uh, um, Albany, New York, at, like, Midnight, because I just like, I didn't want to come home. I called my husband, like, I didn't want to come home. They didn't give me anything to eat. And I'm hungry. And I hadn't 
brought any weed with me because I was trying to be responsible. So I just I just took the money that they gave me mm. as an honorarium for speaking and spent it on a cab ride home because. So I I, I don't have the constitution for. Um, for road work. But from the designs of the squirrels and smoke to the water, erupting the mind, awakening the cause, the hope. But yes, sure, that you don't stop. Yes, 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 sure, you don't stop. Yes, 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 you don't stop. A pox, <laughs> one of those who only bout the hearts in their ball. Precision nice to sag the swag in their wall. Quick, the foot in their feet, and fold a pot with the meat lost in the glistening of their ice, keeping cake. <laughs> I lost my rod. I lost my rod. Shit. I lost my rod. Get that big gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to play this game. Where's my mommy? Your mommy's long gone, Johnny. Okay, who's Johnny? Johnny's the little kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they two both characters? Are they both together? Like, hanging out? Uh, somewhat. How I envisioned it is like the creepy old fuck killer mm -hmm. face. He's like at this gateway and Johnny wants to get in. That's all I'm gonna reveal right now. Yeah, yeah. Where do these characters come from for you from you? Um in a dream actually. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. Was it like a really intense dream or like Yeah, it was. Can you tell us about like some of the dream or you wanna uh, it was just a pretty creepy fucking dream, yeah. How old were you when you had this dream? Uh can't remember. But it, yeah, it's just creepy shit. Were you scared when you had the stream, or were you Not like... quite. I'm into creepy shit. Okay. Yeah. Like, well, define, like, what type of creepy shit are you into? I'm just into horrors. Like, that's my genre. Genre? Genre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, right? yeah. Uh -huh. So, that's just what I'm into. Like, um, have you watched, like, uh, is there specific type of genres of horror? Because, like, you know, there's, like, there's, like, the Scream movies. The 80s like, and song. the 90s. Everything after that is, like, bullshit. And you know, no offense, but I would love the opportunity to resurrect the horror genre because I believe it's like really declined over the years. Yeah, have you have you ever checked out the uh, the seventies Italian horrors? No, actually. You might be into that though, okay. yeah. Because like back in I forgot what it's called the uh, that genre, but like Italians made awesome horror movies back in the sixties, seventies. Okay. Yeah, you should that. definitely like look that up. Yeah, I think it might be down. Yeah, because it's like stylistic, but also creepy as shit. You know. Yeah, it's a artistic way of being creepy. It's not just making out in the field under the sun. Move that information. She clack clack. Sweating the fleek off measure. Broke mirror in the grass. Work buried in the bottom of the pyramid. In the dirt and grass, make them sleep, give them something to look at so they can't see. The strive towards the curse of the first. The strive towards the curse of the first. The strive towards the curse of the first. Believe what you want. Believe what you want. Somebody always gonna believe it. You have a lot of uh, cool tattoos, man. Like some. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How many tattoos do you have? Over four hundred, I believe. Wow. All of this is like pieced up and. My face, a lot of people don't see this. And stuff. Oh, cool, man. And shit. Yeah. Well, when, when, when was the first time you had a tattoo? At 11. 11? Yes. Was it in uh, Guyana or in New York? It was in Guyana. And my mom did not know. Because when I tell people that, everybody, they oh, your mom allowed you to know. Mm -hmm. When she found out, which was like three years later, she gave me a good looking. Yeah. She found out three years later, right? Yeah. She, she's. Yes, I. The switches? Got a, yes, right. yes. I got a. Wow, wow. Yeah. What, what was the tattoo of and where was it? It was uh, oh, a good look symbol. I was always like out there. Mm -hmm. I'm like, if I'm going to get a tattoo, I want everyone to see it. Right. And I got my first tattoo on my neck. Cool. Yeah. What, did the, what did the kids think like when you were 11? They thought it was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, it's badass, right? 11 wow. years old, a like a neck tattoo at 11? Yeah. That's dope, man. It's like, you know. Not quite. I wouldn't encourage the children to do that. <laughs> but, you know, I've just always been like a rebel, man. Do as they say, not as they do, kids. Right, right. Listen to the Todd Meister. <laughs> the Todd, Todd Meister. Meister. Right, right. Yeah, I'm corny like that. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, 400 tattoos. That's, um, what, what's your favorite tattoo? Um, By the way, do they all have specific meanings or? No, like some are just fucking shit I like, man, or mm -hmm. shit that I believe in. Like, actually, some are actually a contradiction. Yeah. Like, this says only fear God, but why should you fear God? Right. Where'd you get that? Uh, 
probably like 19. Why'd you get that then? Like, was he like spiritual back then? Like, no, wondering about that? Or you were, no. were you an atheist back then? I was not. You were not an atheist. I am not an atheist. No, back then when you had that. Oh no, I was a believer. Okay. In a sense, Christian. Mm -hmm. But it said, what's it again? Only fear God? Only fear God. But now you're, you're, you're changing that. You're, yeah. You're, that's what I'm saying. It's like a contradiction. Although it's on my body. So what's different now for you with that? Like, what do you think now with that? Like, only fear God, that, that phrase. What's no, that? you shouldn't fear God. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I don't believe in this anymore. Would you still keep it? Or just as like a... Yeah, I'm just going to keep it just to remember, like, how I used to think. Under the beginning of truth is a framed picture of suspicion. Is delving into the opposite of love? Is the cost of doing nothing satisfying and worth saying nothing that exercises a standing on the corner and the night playing? Nothing in the saving. This hot new ringtone, death, life. Nothing is more funkier than a mosquito's tweeter, totter to nothing. We beget nothing, and if we care for nothing, we forget nothing. But something seems to center itself on the science of something in the center of nothing. From nothing is the beginning, the opposite of the end or nothing and nothing plus nothing equator nothing will and nothing want will get us hours as we days into the nothing contract where there's a nothing clause guaranteeing us of nothing 360 degrees Fahrenheit of the middle of the storm of a pristine nothing we will hate nothing we will love nothing but following brick roads to nothing sitting on nothing Flipping nothing, serving nothing, deserving nothing will induce fearing nothing based on people, based on hearing, smelling, seeing, tasting, nothing, humble and nothing, life for nothing, die from living for nothing, indivisible, proximately, purposely placed in the palm of nature and a hole in a place behind God face where actions go unseen with no mirrors, no comfort and no fear, with menial efforts to help us see things clear to the things that we can't understand so we stand for nothing on an electric rug chasing coins, we the everlasting energy of abandonment, the invincible invisible, entering that end ring resonated in religiosity burning spirituality onto the soul, to decide the fate of the flesh for free thought, freestyled off the top of nothing virtuous, nothing potent nothing brave, nothing pure, but the law of nothing higher till there is nothing higher than nothing, it's more than negative Relative to rhythm, wisdom, visions in the vicinity of the vile, masked with style, staring in the mirror at nothing and seeing everything, pounding at the levy of truth to everything real, begging to be touched, but not knowing how to feel, empty in that grand delusion, colluded with desire, coloring a characteristic, burnt onto a generation, generating a severe hating of the God side of self. I ask you, is this the end? This is the end. <laughs>